What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to go to Grillby's. Want to come? Sure. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here. I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hi, Sansy. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. Whoops. Watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put more cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? I'll take a burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grillby, we'll have a double order of burg. So, what do you think? Of my brother. He's pretty cool. Of course he's cool. He'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that even he wears in the shower. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Nah. More for me. <sighs> anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Oh, yeah. I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yes. So you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, the pirate told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using a neck of flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you fit the bill? It's just 10,000 gold. Not happening. Just kidding. Grubby, put it on my tab. By the way, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Grub said that your food is probably cold by now. Sands is a sentry, but don't let his title make you think he does anything. Everyone knows he sits around in the forest reading car magazines. Sands is the most regular, regular of all. He hasn't been showing up as much recently, though. Huh? Since when did you and Sands become friends? I don't like him. He loves to appear without moving. I was hoping Sans came in to give me a pat on the head. Interloper? I like Sans. Sometimes he feeds us scraps of food on the table. Then his brother gets mad. But why? We're adults. We can handle it. Sans is interesting. He has told me about all kinds of incredible foods. But 
Despite his knowledge, he always orders the worst burger off the menu. Sansy, come back and sit with me. Everything's so fun when you're around. So you came back to have a date with me! You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I'd like to spend a lot of time! My house! This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. My brother always goes there to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd! There's an empty pie tin inside the stove. That's the trash can! Feel free to visit it any time. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink! Now I can fit more bones under it! Take a look-see! What? Catch that meddling canine! Curses! Sans, stop plaguing my life with incidental music. Forget it. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please, peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans! Please pick up your sock! Okay. Don't put it back down! Move it! Okay. You moved it two inches! Move it to your room! Okay. And don't bring it back! Okay. It's still here! Didn't you just say I have to bring it back to my room? Or oh, get it! Ooh, it's my favorite game show! It says, stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20 gold. It's a saggy old couch. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Sure. Inside the joke book was a, was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There is another quantum physics book. You just have to stop. Welcome to scenic my house. Enjoy and take your time. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. The door is locked. That's my room! If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside? Sure. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. It's a box of bones. The internet! I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away. Or a double digit follower count. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona. Always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. The computer's internet browser is open to a social media site. There are no skeletons inside my closet. 
Except me sometimes. Look in the closet. Nah. It's okay to be intimidated by my fashion sense. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Constructions for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. Complex manuals and children's books. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne fire at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Yeah. It's a beat up pirate flag. Ah, yes. Action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa. Action figures of many sexy robots. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead I cruise while I snooze. Why are you so interested in my bed? Are you tired? So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date? Okay. Okay, dating start. Dating start. Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can't spell pre prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. Wowee, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. <clears throat> Human, I, the Great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. Okay. Really? Wowee! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing? That bandage hanging off of you. You're wearing clothing right now! I don't like that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No. Could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? Not really. Despite that, you chose to wear clothing today, of all days? Was your interest in me... predestined? N no! Your dating power! Yeah. Yeah. Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes and eat my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold. Yeah. What do you think of my secret style? I love it. No! A genuine compliment! However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This state won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. I understand why you're running away. You're overwhelmed by the sight of my cool vibes. But you can't back down now! Human souls are stronger than monster souls. But the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. There's no secret in my legs. 
Just hard work and perseverance. Holding my hand so I'll tell you the answer. No! I must resist! I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. But who doesn't? This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip, all clothing articles can be improved this way. My hat? My hat. My hat! Uh -huh. but, well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present j just for you. Do you know what this is? No clue. Yeah, that's right. You have no idea. Though this appears to be spaghetti. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask. And cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! Oh. Oh. No! Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um... Boy, is it hot in here, or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me, a dark person of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't feel it anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I will keep being your cool friend, and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It will be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you set up a second best. <laughs> Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime, platonically. Well, gotta go. Let's hang out again sometime. This is a box. You can put an item in, or take an item out. Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. Use the box. There's a tutu lying on the ground here. Will you take it? Okay. You got the old tutu.
Huh? There's a camera behind the waterfall. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. But what? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't you don't have to destroy them. You see. You see. <sighs> I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome! I'm so jealous! What'd you do to get her attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. <laughs> 